You're the very most fun I've ever found And you're my friend You're especially nice to be around And you're my friend Hi, my name is Cricket. What's yours? Pleased to meet ya. If you'll be my friend, I'll tell you all about myself. For instance, do you know why I'm always looking around? Because <laughs> I want to see everything that's going on. And you know why I talk all the time? Because <laughs> I got lots to say. Right now, I'd like to talk about some of my favorite things. I'll do better than that. I'll sing a song about my favorite things. Here goes. I've got a favorite ball, I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song, I sing, tra-la. I've got a favorite doll, I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. Favorite things can be old or new, just as long as they're loved by you. I've got a favorite ball, I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song, I sing, tra-la. I've got a favorite doll, I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. A book or a blanket or a floppy hat. My favorite things are all things like that. I've got a favorite ball, I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song, I sing, tra-la. I've got a favorite doll, I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. I'll bet you'll never guess what two more of my favorite things are. I'll give you a hint. I wear them. Now take a guess. Did you guess yet? Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. The answer is my sneakers. <laughs> Do I love them or what? In fact, I love my sneakers so much, I'm going to tell you a story about them. While you're listening, you can make sure I'm all dressed to go to the park, because that's where this story happens. One day, I made the biggest peanut butter and bologna sandwich you ever saw, and I packed it in my lunchbox and went to the park for a picnic. As soon as I got there, I took my socks and sneakers off, because I like to feel the grass between my toes. Don't you? So anyway, I had lots of fun playing with my friends, but then it was time for lunch. And guess what? When I got back to my picnic blanket, I found the cutest little puppy. And picture this, that cute little puppy was chewing on one of my sneakers. Oh no, I said, please give me back my sneaker, little puppy. But that puppy wouldn't let go. Every time I tried to get near him, he ran away from me. First he ran around the jungle gym, then he ran behind a tree, and then I chased him right through the middle of a baseball game but I couldn't catch him. I just didn't know what I was gonna do next. You can't get very far in just one sneaker, if you know what I mean. Then all of a sudden, I had the best idea. I opened my lunchbox, I took the bologna out of my sandwich, and I said, here, puppy, puppy, look what I've got for you. Then I dropped the bologna right in front of him. Well, as soon as that silly old puppy saw the bologna, he let go of my sneaker. Can you believe it? <laughs> I don't think I'll ever take my sneakers off again. I might even sleep in them. <laughs> Just kidding, but I really do love them. Roses are red, my sneakers are pink. They're my favorite things in the world, I think. <laughs> hey, I made up a rhyme. I know, let's play a rhyming game. Rhyming words are words that sound alike. Cat and fat are rhyming words, so are bake and cake. Now here's how we play the game. I'll say a nursery rhyme, but I'm gonna leave out the rhyming word. See if you can guess what it is. Here goes. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the... Did you say clock? If you did, you got it right. Clock rhymes with dock. Here's another one. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack, jump over the candle. Did you say stick? Stick rhymes with quick. How about one more? 
Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the roof, but don't rain on... Did you say me? <laughs> I hope you did, because I wouldn't want you to get wet. Telling jokes is another way to have fun with words. You know about knock-knock jokes, don't ya? Well, just listen, and I'll tell you what to do. When I say knock-knock, you say, who's there? Ready? Knock-knock. Now you say, who's there? Annie. Now you say, Annie who? Annie body home. <laughs> Get it? Annie body home. <laughs> Let's do another. Remember what to say now. Knock, knock. Harry. Hurry up and let me in. <laughs> hey, you're really good at this game. I just remembered another one. Ready? Knock, knock. Wanda. Wanda hear another knock, knock joke? <laughs> you do? Well, I've got lots more, and I'll tell them to you sometime. But right now, it's time to sing again. Remember the song about my favorite things? Well, I'd like you to help me sing it. Listen carefully, and I'll tell you how. Start by pretending to bounce a ball. I've got a favorite ball I bounce, bounce, bounce. Now when I sing tra-la, you sing with me. I've got a favorite song I sing tra-la. Now pretend you're rocking a baby. I've got a favorite doll, I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. Now let's put it all together. Start by bouncing the ball. I've got a favorite ball, I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song, I sing, tra -la. I've got a favorite doll, I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. Favorite things can be old or new, just as long as they're loved by you. I've got a favorite ball, I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song, I sing, tra -la. I've got a favorite doll, I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. One time, I went on a trip and I wanted to take a lot of my favorite things. I didn't want to forget any of them, so I played a game to help me remember. You can play it with me now. I'll say I went on a trip and took a ball. What did I take? And you'll say a ball. Then I'll say I went on a trip, took a ball and a balloon. What did I take? And you'll say a ball and a balloon. Each time, I'll add one more thing to the list. See how many you can remember. Here goes. I went on a trip and took a ball. What did I take? I went on a trip and took a ball and a balloon. What did I take? I went on a trip and took a ball, a balloon, and a banana. What did I take? I went on a trip and took a ball, a balloon, a banana, and a bicycle. What did I take? <laughs> You're really good at this game. If you want, you can play it with your friends. Just take turns adding to the list and see if you can remember the whole thing. Good luck! My mom has some favorite things too, and one of them is a teapot. Would you like to pretend you're a teapot? <laughs> it's easy. I'll tell you how, and then we'll sing a teapot song. Put one hand on your hip and let your elbow stick out to the side. That's the handle of the teapot. Now put your other arm straight out to the side. That's the spout where the tea comes out. When I sing pour me out, you lean over to the side and pretend you're pouring the tea. All right, here we go. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Everybody's got a favorite color. What's yours? I really like blue. Well, I'm going to sing a song about four different colors. And here's what I want you to do. 
When I sing, find something blue, you find something blue and touch it. When I sing, find something red, you touch something red. Do the same for the other colors. You're gonna have to be pretty quick, so get ready, cause here we go. Mary wore a dress and the dress was blue, and that's how it all began. Blue, blue, find something blue, and touch it as quick as you can. Hurry, touch something blue. Mary wore a hat and the hat was red. Mary never looked so grand. Red, red, find something red and touch it as quick as you can. Hurry up and touch something red. Mary wore a belt and the belt was green and so did Mary's sister Anne. Green, green, find something green and touch it as quick as you can. Quick, touch something green. Do it right now. Mary wore socks, bright yellow socks, and Mary got a yellow fan. Yellow, yellow, find something yellow and touch it as quick as you can. This is the last one. Hurry, touch something yellow. I know another little girl whose favorite color is red. Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to pretend I'm Red Riding Hood. You can pretend too. Once upon a time, Little Red Riding Hood's mother, <laughs> I mean my mother said, come here dear and take this cake to your grandma. But remember, don't stop in the woods, don't run, and be sure to say good morning to your grandma when you get there. Don't worry mom, I said, I can take care of myself. So I put on my red cape and I picked up my basket and went through the woods to Grandma's house. But when I got about halfway there, who do you think I met? You guessed it, the big bad wolf. Good morning, Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. Good morning, Mr. Wolf, I said. Where are you going, Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. To Grandma's house, Mr. Wolf, I said. Well, listen, Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. I've got a great idea. Why don't you take your grandma some flowers? Good idea, Mr. Wolf, I said. I better start picking them right away. Then the wolf said goodbye and went off into the forest. Well, was that old wolf dumb or what? I knew all the time he was gonna go straight to grandma's house, so I took a shortcut and beat him to it. Sure enough, pretty soon there was a knock on grandma's door. I looked through the people and who do you think I saw? You guessed it, the big bad wolf. But picture this, that silly old wolf was wearing a red cape just like mine. He was pretending to be me. Then the wolf knocked on the door again. Who's there? I said in Grandma's voice. It is I, I mean it is I, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. But Red Riding Hood, I said, what big ears you have. The better, I mean the better to hear you with, said the wolf. But Red Riding Hood, I said, what big eyes you have. The better, I mean, the better to see you with, said the wolf. But Red Riding Hood, I said, what big hands you have. The better to catch you with, said the wolf. And I'm not Red Riding Hood, I'm the big bad wolf. And I'm not Grandma, I said, I'm Little Red Riding Hood, and I'm not gonna let you in. So get out of here and go right back into the woods where you belong. Well, that poor old wolf was so surprised, he just turned right around and went straight home. And guess what? <laughs> I never saw old Mr. Wolf in those woods again. I sure am having fun. I'm so glad you're my friend. You're the very most fun I've ever found. And you're my friend. You're especially nice to be around. And you're my friend. I'm so happy I've got a pal to tell my feelings to. No one else means more to me than you. If you want, you can turn my tape over now, or you can talk and I'll listen. But whatever you do, just remember I'll be talking to you.
I've got a favorite ball, I bounce, bounce, bounce. I've got a favorite song, I sing, tra la I've got a favorite doll, I rock, rock, rock. Oh, how I love my favorite things. You know, one of my favorite things to do is sing. I know some really great songs and singing games. You want to play some with me? You do? Well, all right. This song's about a farmer, kind of like my grandpa. But this farmer likes to sleep late, and his barnyard animals want him to get up and feed him. <laughs> this is my little brother's favorite song. He likes to make the sounds of the animals, and you can too. Listen carefully one time, then you can sing along. The farmer is a sleeping butt, the barnyard is awake. I'll get him up, said the dog, with all the noise I'll make. Bow, wow, wow, bow, wow, wow, get up for goodness sake. How can you keep on sleeping when we are all awake? I'll name another animal this time, and you help me make the sound. The farmer is a sleeping butt, the barnyard is awake. I'll get him up, said the pig, with all the noise I'll make. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, 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 get up for goodness sake. How can you keep on sleeping when we are all awake? I'm gonna name a different animal. See if you can make that sound. The farmer is a sleeping butt, the barnyard is awake. I'll get him up, said the duck, with all the noise I'll make. Quack, 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 get up for goodness sake. How can you keep on sleeping when we are all awake? Now you think of an animal and make the sound. Here we go. The farmer is a sleeping butt, the barnyard is awake. I get him up, said the, with all the noise I'll make. Get up for goodness sake, how can you keep on sleeping when we are all awake? <laughs> Was that a fun song or what? One time my grandma came to visit us from the farm where she lives with Grandpa. My little brother and I were so excited, she was coming on the train. So my dad took me and my little brother down to the station to meet her. But on the way, my little brother started to get fidgety. And when my brother gets fidgety, he always asks about a million questions, like, Daddy, what time is it? And Daddy, how is Grandma gonna get here? He had so many questions, my dad asked me to keep him busy for a while. So I sang, she'll be coming round the mountain. And I told my little brother to sing along with me. <laughs> he was so funny. Whenever we sang toot toot, he pretended he was pulling a train whistle. You can sing along and pull the train whistle too. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Toot toot. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Toot toot. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Toot toot. When we got to the station, Grandma's train was late. So my dad went over to the ticket window to see what was the matter. Well, pretty soon, my little brother started to get fidgety again. And then he started asking about a million billion questions. Like, Cricket, when is Grandma gonna get here? And Cricket, what if we don't see her when she gets off the train? So I decided to sing some more of my song. And this time, whenever we sang, hi, Grandma, my little brother waved his hand. You can sing along and wave to Grandma, too. We will all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, Grandma. We will all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, Grandma. We will all go out to meet her. We will all go out to meet her. We will all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, Grandma. My dad came back and said that Grandma's train would be about 15 minutes late. Well, this made my little brother fidgier than ever. And pretty soon he started asking about a million, billion, trillion questions. Like... Daddy, when are we going to eat? And Daddy, what's Grandma going to have for dinner tonight? So my dad said he'd go buy us a couple of ice cream cones and told us to sing some more till he got back. So we did. And when we sang, yum, yum, <laughs> my little brother patted his tummy. You can sing along and pat your tummy, too. 
We will all have chicken and dumplings when she comes. Yum, yum! We will all have chicken and dumplings when she comes. Yum, yum! We will all have chicken and dumplings. We will all have chicken and dumplings. We will all have chicken and dumplings when she comes. Yum, yum! Then Grandma's train finally came, and my little brother and I rushed down the meter. She was so happy to see us. But then right away, my little brother started asking her about a million, billion, trillion, zillion questions. Like, Grandma, did you come around the mountain? And Grandma, are you glad to see us? And Grandma, are we going to have chicken and dumplings? My Grandma just laughed and laughed. And guess what song we sang all the way home? <laughs> you guessed it. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Toot, toot. We will all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi, Grandma. We will all have chicken and dumplings. We will all have chicken and dumplings. We will all have chicken and dumplings when she comes. Yum, yum. One of my favorite things to do is go to the zoo. Last time I went, I saw five funny little monkeys. They reminded me of a game I know. Here's what you do. Hold five fingers up in the air, and when I say one fell off, you put one of your fingers down. Here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Did you put one of your fingers down? Now you should have four fingers in the air. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> Are you a little monkey? I didn't think so. There were lots of animals at the zoo. I'll name some of them. And when I name one that hops, you hop. When I name an animal that doesn't hop, you stop. Is this going to be fun or what? Here goes. Rabbits hop. Quick, hop like a rabbit. Cows don't hop. I hope you stop hopping because cows don't hop. Horses don't hop. Frogs hop. Ducks don't hop. Dogs don't hop. Grasshoppers hop. Sheep don't hop. Fish don't hop. Kangaroos hop. Worms don't hop. Frogs hop. Rabbits hop. Grasshoppers hop. <laughs> All right, is everybody hoppy? Now I'm going to tell you some silly stories about animals. And I'll make each one in the story begin with the same letter. See if you can tell what letter it is. Here's the first story. Daring ducks dive down deep. What letter makes the duh sound? The letter D makes the duh sound. Each word in that story began with the letter D. Here's another silly story. Listen carefully and see if you can tell what letter each word begins with. Five frogs flip flop four four fat flies. What letter makes the f sound? The letter is F, as in frogs and flies. Let's try another one. Jolly Johnny jumps jaunty Jimmy's jump rope. What letter makes the j sound? Did you say J? J is the letter that makes the J sound. Here's another one. Tilly told Tom to touch two tiny turtles. What letter makes the T sound? The letter is T. 
<laughs> Are you a good speller or what? I sure have lots of fun with you. And you know, we can have some adventures too. Let me sing you a song about my favorite kind of adventures. Storybook adventures, they're the greatest kind. There's no end to all the fun you'll find. You can have adventures and still be safe at home with a storybook adventure of your own. How about it? Let's have an adventure. Storybook adventures, just for me and you. We'll find such exciting things to do. You can have adventures if you just pretend. All you need's a story and a friend. Let's have a storybook adventure right now. This is a story about a little girl named Goldilocks who looked a lot like me. Hey, I think I'll pretend I am Goldilocks. You can pretend you're Goldilocks, too. Once upon a time, there were three bears. A big old papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a teeny little baby bear. They all lived in a little house in the forest. And every morning before breakfast, the three bears went for a walk in the woods. Well, one day, a little girl named Goldilocks, that's me, came to the house of the three bears. Except I didn't know about the three bears yet. I knocked on the door, knock, 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 but no one was home, so I went inside. The very first thing I saw was three chairs. I sat down in Papa Bear's great big chair, but what do you think it was? Right, it was too hard. Then I sat down in Mama Bear's middle-sized chair, but what do you think it was? Right, it was too soft. And then I sat down in Baby Bear's teeny little chair, and what do you think it was? Right, it was just right. But picture this, as soon as I sat down, I broke it right in two. Well, the next thing I saw was three bowls of oatmeal. I remembered I was hungry because I didn't have any breakfast. So I tasted the oatmeal in Papa Bear's great big bowl. But what do you think it was? Right, it was too hot. Then I tasted the oatmeal in Mama Bear's middle-sized bowl. But what do you think it was? Right, it was too cold. Then I tasted the oatmeal in Baby Bear's teeny little bowl. And what do you think it was? Right, it was just right. So I ate it all up. After breakfast, I was so tired, I went upstairs to take a nap. First, I tried Papa Bear's great big bed, but what do you think it was? Right, it was too hard. Then I tried Mama Bear's middle-sized bed, but what do you think it was? Right, it was too soft. And then I tried Baby Bear's teeny little bed, and what do you think it was? Right, it was just right, so I fell fast asleep. And what do you think happened next? You guessed it, the three bears came home from their walk. And they made so much noise, they woke me up. So I went downstairs and said, Hello, Papa Bear. Hello, Mama Bear. Hello, Baby Bear. My name is Goldilocks. Thank you all so much for your hospitality. I'll be happy to help you with the dishes and straighten up the bed I slept in. And I'm sorry about Baby Bear's broken chair. Think nothing of it, said Papa Bear. I can fix it in a jiffy. And you're such a polite little girl, said Mama Bear. Won't you stay and have lunch with us? Yay, said Baby Bear. We can play all day long. <laughs> and that's just what we did. If you want to play some more, you can turn my tape over now. Or you can tell me about some of your favorite things. But whatever you do, just remember, I'll be talking to you.